Marvel's currently in a really cool spot, mostly because everybody realizes that a turnaround is happening. I mean, between X-Men 97, Deadpool and Wolverine, and the absolutely mind-blowing announcement of Robert Downey Jr. returning to the MCU as Doctor Doom. It's obvious that the narrative has shifted, that Marvel's turning things around. However, the question still remains, is Marvel saved? And in this video, I wanna explain why Marvel is actually not saved, at least not yet. I mean, don't get me wrong. I am so thrilled with a lot of the changes and the announcements that have happened over the past couple of weeks. Seriously, I love the fun and the fan service that we have been getting over the past couple of weeks. Deadpool Wolverine is such a celebration and the Comic-Con stuff was crazy. Even D23, Marvel went pretty hard there too. And it is incredible what they have already accomplished just with this, just with what has recently happened. This isn't an ass pool. This is actual planning a lot of hard work and i feel like marvel studios put a lot of effort into this and they deserve praise this is awesome like dude trust me it's feeling much better now than it has felt in a while but to me this really only fixes one part of the marvel machine albeit a very important part that being the hype and the anticipation of the next thing you've probably heard me talk about this before because i think it's such an important part of marvel's success and it's essentially just something from comic books that was brought over to the marvel cinematic universe it's really a big part of their dna and here check out this clip from nicholas cage this is like one of my favorite interviews from him with collider where he perfectly illustrates the exact point i'm trying to make here now look at the comic book movie i will say one thing about it all right to be fair comic books by nature are episodic as a child reading it, i want to get to the next issue so what they're doing is just having the comic book experience applied to to the movie going experience okay i can't wait for the this one or that one. i want to see the new issue instead of reading i want to look at it so that they're that's truthful to the comic book experience so again this is absolutely a crucial and just very important part of the marvel machine and they have seemingly fixed that part of the machine but i personally feel like there's still a lot of executing on that promise that needs to be fulfilled and the next part of the marvel machine that needs to be corrected in order for me to consider marvel saved will be the execution the actual production of their different shows and movies and i think they need quality like obviously you need quality but really you should be looking at deadpool and wolverine as an example because that movie although quality is not i think at least in the upper echelon of like the best comic book projects that have ever been made but what it is is an absolute crowd pleaser it is just a movie for the fans and it feels like it was made with the respect of hardcore and casual fans alike deadpool wolverine is not the strongest movie in the genre it's not even the strongest movie in the deadpool franchise at least i don't think so but it is the most big the most celebratory the most like epic the the most eventized the most like appointment television kind of a situation like you gotta go see deadpool wolverine like dude it, you know what it is it's an experience and it's a celebration of this very genre that put fan expectations and fan enjoyment at the forefront marvel needs to be focused on making crowd pleasers and making movies that engage and satisfy the fans and when i say that i really mean both the hardcore fans you know the people like you and me that you know follow this stuff very very closely but also the casual fans we need the people that are not watching youtube videos all the time about marvel to be excited about marvel projects and go out and check them out and the good news here is that marvel is working really hard on this i mean if you look at what's happening with captain america for brave new world i mean it is just having so many reshoots and they're doing a lot of changes to it from what i understand the guy that was originally directing is kind of quietly been moved off of the film and they just have producers in there like basically feige's back to just kind of work in the movie himself and like making it into a really enjoyable feast of you know espionage captain america red hulk action and for me as a fan like dude i'm getting more and more excited for this movie like there was a time where i was like i just don't know about this movie and i think that's where a lot of fans are at but the most recent trailers that were at d23 and san diego comic-con are actually pretty sweet they obviously added giancarlo esposito they added even more action and dude i gotta be honest red hulk looks great like harrison ford as red hulk looks way Way better than I thought he was going to and it's like one of the most epic things they have going on right now people are gonna show up just to see Harrison Ford 
as the Red Hulk. And it's like, I don't know if this is a fiscally responsible decision, but they're spending all the money on Captain America Brave New World, and I think the movie's gonna be way more of a crowd pleaser when it comes out than it was going to be when it was originally gonna come out, or even, you know, other versions of the movie. Daredevil Born Again is another great example of this, a creative overhaul, them bringing a lot of the actors back from the Netflix shows, and they're apparently going right into season two because Marvel's just loving everything that they got going on with daredevil born again and oh my god that trailer from d23 and comic-con was amazing dude it looks so good i can't wait to see this show and so marvel is working on that but with this comes maybe their biggest problem and i think for me this is like a real kind of just irritating issue because i think the move for marvel was to actually cancel some of these other projects or delay them indefinitely i'm talking about agatha i'm talking about Ironheart. i'm even talking about like vision quest and wonder man like i just don't understand why we're still making those projects however there clearly are a lot of projects that were in development at you know some level like your eternals 2 your shang chi 2 even blade which have been delayed like seemingly pretty far into the future now with the pivot towards doomsday and all of that sort of stuff you know we just recently got some updates from charles murphy who gives us a lot of production updates but there are a lot of like things that were going to be in production that now just have no updates seemingly just quietly pushed to the side like apparently shang chi 2 armor wars and blade and spider-man 4 all don't have any movement as far as their production and so marvel seemingly trying to do what they can to make all of their stuff big crowd pleasing events whether they're for you know streaming or they're in the theater and some of the stuff is working for me it's getting me more excited for the projects and i think they will be more of crowd pleasers which again is really what marvel needs right now but i've got questions about agatha i've got questions about ironheart i've got questions about a lot of these things that were greenlit during phase four where i think marvel was just out of touch with what was going to work with their audience and on top of that they seemingly pivoted to rdj's doctor doom and they've got the russos now on the avengers movies and they want to do those really quickly so it's just it's a wild time right now where marvel is pivoting doing a lot to try to fix some of their projects some of the projects seemingly not getting as much love like your agatha and your Ironheart, and yet they're also trying to build up what's going on in the continuity of 616 while also building up the multiverse and rdj doom and all this crazy stuff so basically even though they have scaled back they're still doing the most and i mean that literally like they are doing the most out of any other studio studio out of any other company they are literally doing the most right now and so i think there's still a serious concern of how they will be able to actually execute on this quality control and how they will be able to execute with these movies with this connective tissue with all the stuff they're trying to accomplish in order to create these crowd pleasers that really engage people and get us excited for then secret wars and have it like pop and be this awesome thing so i guess for me until i see more of what they're actually doing like i will feel much better after next year after i actually see captain america and thunderbolts like if they can make those movies real big crowd pleasers even though they're from like a different era right like i think that's going to be a great success for marvel and i think it will instill a lot of confidence in people and so that's what it would kind of take for me to feel like oh marvel is safe but here's the kicker guys here's like the craziest part of all of this right if they do this if they pull this off and they get this comeback you know going in you know just the whole way they want to and then avengers doomsday and avengers secret wars just pops off and we're like oh my god marvel is absolutely back like this shit is so crazy then they have this thing probably locked up forever or for at least another five to ten years because this soft reboot this rumored soft reboot after secret wars i think that will give a creative jolt to the mcu and the fact that they're seemingly going to pivot hard into mutants and the x-men and have that be the focus after secret wars of like the soft rebooted mcu it's like dude holy crap they're cooking with gasoline like they have all the cards they have so much marvel comic story that they can still tap into there's still so much juice we've already seen the fall off of marvel studios at least like a version of it right and so if they have that fall off 
and they rebuild if the turnaround goes the whole way and marvel truly saves itself then they will have proved that they can do that they will have proved they're not just a one-trick pony it wasn't just the infinity saga they can continue to do this and maybe they do it in different forms like maybe secret wars isn't as substantive as endgame but it's still epic and awesome and fans really really love it that's all you really need because then going into the next saga people will be like yeah phase four you know they kind of had a thing and then jonathan majors but dude they brought it home freaking secret wars is incredible i love that movie and i can't wait to see what marvel does next if if that happens dude they are set for a long time and so again while i don't personally think that you can just say marvel is saved right now they are turning it around they could truly save themselves and if they do oh my goodness like dude we're talking about longevity the likes of which we have never really seen from a franchise like maybe like james bond i guess but like this thing could be a staple of pop culture for decades and decades and decades and i really think all of that is on the line within the next couple of years with marvel Studios. it's gonna be an exciting time for us as fans to check it out and see what they are actually able to do let me know what you think in the comment section below this is a hot topic right now is marvel truly saved so if you have some thoughts please let me know down there and as i always say i hope you are having an awesome and a nerdy day and i'll see you in the next video